Hi, everyone, and welcome, and a very good afternoon. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us today. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and TravelProfessionalNews.com, I want to welcome all of you to today's webinar. We have a really exciting presentation for you today, hosted by Passport Online. Today's webinar will be a panel discussion moderated by our good friend, Mary Pat Sullivan, CTC, President of Sullivan Marketing Advisors. Mary Pat and the travel agents on the panel will be discussing why social media is so important for your business. And as we all know, this is a very timely topic. Mary Pat will be introducing the members of the panel during her discussion. Before we get started, a reminder that you are all muted, but we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. When our speakers are finished with their presentation, we'll get to as many questions as we can. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mary Pat so she can get started. Welcome, Mary Pat. Thanks, Sandy. I love being here. You know that. I love this travel professional community. Great, great group of agents, and I know that you guys are all active in the business and learn from each other. So I'm so happy to be here today with my friends from Passport Online. I work very closely with them as a marketing consultant and actually was part of the team that launched ESP several years back now. And uh, we've decided to bring a few of the customers, folks that have been very successful with social media in their businesses, but also have learned how to trial and error and expand with experiment with social media. And they're going to join us today. So we have a team from Passport Online in the offices in uh, Oregon today, going to present some of the product to you. And we have three of your colleagues joining us today. So let me introduce them first. So you know who's with us in the studios today. We have Beth Foss. Beth is from My Travel Elf. And for those of you that don't know Beth, she's got a very successful business focused largely on Disney, but has expanded throughout and uh, really has grown her business significantly. And I actually met Beth when we launched ESP. So Beth, you want to join us and say hello and tell us where you're calling from today? Hey, um, I'm calling from my home slash office in Naples, Florida. Wouldn't it be nice to work in Naples, Florida every day? Well, Beth, <laughs> thank you so much. And Beth now has 7,200 Facebook followers. She's an ESP user also a Nexite user, and we'll come back to Beth shortly. She's from Nexion, if you're looking for what consortia and, and host agencies we work with as well. So thanks, Beth. We'll be back to you shortly. Also joining us today is Karen Schinke from Chocolate City Travel, one of my favorite travel agency names. Love that name. Um, also a very good partner to Passport Online and to all of our products and services, a user of ESP since 2014, has 260 Facebook followers, uses it much more specifically, and I love that about Karen. So Karen, I just want you to say welcome and tell us where you're calling from today. We should all know by the name, but where are you joining us from today? Well, actually, today I'm in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, and um, just about seven miles west of uh, Chocolate City, which is the home to Nestle's. Now I want food, too. Thanks, Karen, and we'll be back to you shortly as well. Okay. Also joining us today is Bruce Lehman. Bruce is with Get Up and Go Cruises and Travel. Uh, Bruce is also a, a Passport Online customer, an ESP user since 2015, so a little bit newer to the ESP team, um, has 4,200 Facebook followers, and is big on picking and choosing the posts that he uses. So we're thrilled to have Bruce with us. Bruce, say hello and tell us where you're calling from today. Hello, everyone. I'm calling from the good old state of Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. The show me state. Well, we're so happy to yep. have you with us, Bruce. And uh, Bruce is with Travel Leaders, and I should have mentioned Karen also is with MAST. So for those of you looking for your consortium partnerships, that's who we have with us today. And now I'm going to ask our team in, in the headquarters office to give you just a little bit of a feel for this product before we get into some conversation. So in the Passport Online headquarters offices, we have Amanda Cabaceras and Cynthia Yonke joining us today. So I'm going to ask them hello. to say hello and take the lead from here. So Amanda, it's off to you. Great, so thanks for joining us today. Um, we'll give a little bit of information on Passport Online and then talk about what we're gonna cover today and then just get right into it. So we've been in the business of website technology for the past 20 years and we've been working with travel agents and consortia for all of that time. As a result of that, we power over 3,000 agency websites and 2,000 host agency and IC websites. As a result of that, we have over 6 million consumers that shop on our website every month, and participation in our social media program, which is what we're here to talk about today, ESP, includes more than 1,500 agency Facebook pages that reach nearly 1 million Facebook users. 
And so we have so many conversations on a daily basis with our customers about social media that we thought it was really important to take a step back and share some simple tips and ideas. Um, and, you know, because our knowledge just doesn't end with websites, we've been in the social media game since 2014. And as we were coming up with this presentation, Mary Pat actually sh shared this article with us, which was announcing the launch of our ESP product back in 2014. So, what are we doing here today? Today we're gonna to cover quick tips to build your brand and business while maximizing your presence on social media. We're also going to talk about why social media is so important to your business and how it can increase business overall. And finally, just how Passport Online can help you be successful with social media. So why is social media so important Amanda, to your Amanda, before you keep going, let me jump in for a second because we're gonna oh, talk sure. about why it's so important for your business, but I wanna see if our our colleagues on the line can share a little bit of their perspective. So, Karen, I'm going to start with you um, and ask you, how important do you believe having a social media presence is for your travel agency business? Well, I, I think it's very important. Um, a good example I can give you right now is we're working on an Iceland tour, and I just um, put a quick little brief information about Iceland on, and the trip we're putting together on a web page, on our Facebook page, and I have six very good responses to that already, and that just was last week. So I think you have to be selective in what you do so that they know to look. Otherwise, if you put too much stuff on, then they don't pay attention. Absolutely. All right, great. Thank you. And Beth, how about you? What, what, what are you seeing in terms of importance of social media for your business? Well, I think as agents, we probably have all experienced that sort of thing when you jump onto your Facebook page and you see somebody posting that you consider to be a friend of yours and they're telling you how great their vacation is. And not only did you not book that vacation for them, but you didn't even know they were going on vacation. And I used to want to just immediately unfriend those people because like, how could they go on vacation without me? And then <laughs> one day I just had this epiphany and it suddenly hit me that it wasn't really their fault that they forgot what I did for a living. It was my fault that I let them forget what I did for a living. And as soon as I kind of twisted that around and started seeing it from that angle, I kind of realized how big social media could be for me as just a, a great vehicle for reminding them constantly without really shoving it in their faces, just very subtle ways of what it is that I do every day. And that has made a huge difference. Great point, and I, I love how you wanted to unfriend them. I totally get that. And how about you, Bruce? <laughs> Give us a little bit of a feel for why you think social media is important for you. Well, I think uh, we use mainly Facebook, and uh, it's probably the best and the least expensive way to, to advertise your company and any special offerings or destinations that you really want to put out to the customers. We've actually made it a part of our curriculum and our training program for any new agents that we bring on to actually take some time and, and talk to them about how, how to use Facebook and uh, to make their success their business more successful and, and, and bring in customers quicker. That's great. And, you know, I think it's important to remember, and as I turn it back over to Amanda, I think it's important to, as you listen to these three different business owners and what they do, thinking about what Karen said, she may only have 240 followers. She has six leads already for this trip. So it's more about what you post and how you know your audience than anything else. I think it's great. So, Amanda, back to you. Thank you. Yeah, and like everybody touched on, um, Facebook represents the biggest part of that market. And like Bruce said, it's a free marketing piece for you. So Facebook represents a huge potential market for your social media efforts and really has transformed how business is conducted. Um, Facebook's use by local businesses to extend their market continues to explode. As of March 2017, there are 1.94 billion monthly active Facebook users, 1.28 billion daily Facebook users, and 65 million Facebook business pages. In addition to that, 42% um, of marketers report that Facebook is critical or important to their business. And it's really important to understand that this is a crowded marketplace, but you can't afford to sit it out. 
uh, the odds are fairly high that your competition is out there. So the key is to use Facebook marketing correctly and make sure that your efforts stand out from the crowd. Uh, so how can social media help increase your business? Social media can help in, help in several ways. Today we're going to focus specifically on how it can help increase your brand recognition, improve your customer service, lower traditional marketing costs, and finally, how it can even help boost your search engine rankings. So first step, social media can help increase your brand recognition by boosting your business's visibility. Social media gives you a direct way to share your brand's voice and content with both new and existing customers in an organic and engaging platform. 71% of customers who have a good social media experience with the brand are likely to recommend it to others. Their interactions on social media can help them make decisions based off of your company. Um, and this is all really important because increased brand recognition can help you generate more prospects and even convert them into paying customers, like Karen mentioned. Um, so many customers will use social media to find you first. They'll use social media to seek assistance, ask questions, provide feedback, and even look at previous customers' questions to get the answers that we need. Um, we actually have that happen on one of our more active Facebook pages. People often pose a question and either they find the answer already there or customers even kind of chime in and share their experiences and help them find the answer. And then even more than that, when a customer posts their positive experience, you can share it as a testimonial that just sort of came to you organically and let others know how they can benefit from your business. Your company should take full advantage of this and use social media to share updates, offer closures, special events, specials, and not being on social media may simply just cause you to miss some of these opportunities. Um, traditional marketing, postcards, print, mailers can be an additional expense to your business. While you may might not be able to afford sending out 10 rounds of postcard mailers each week. You can post multiple times a day on social media, which is totally free. You can use lower cost social media to stretch your marketing budget substantially while reinforcing connections to your best customers and helping them spread the word to their social media followers as well. So one question we hear really frequently is how can I improve my SEO rankings? Uh, most people don't realize that social media can actually help with that. Many search engines such as Google consider a company's social media presence as a factor in determining where that business will rank. This is due to like reputation and authenticity and some of the other factors that Google uses to kind of rank you. Um, and also length of time that you have been active as a business helps them kind of assess your validity too. So it's always helpful just to have your name out there. Um, you want to be able to show growth in real followers and in social media sharing amongst those followers. And then, so now we're going to, moving kind of quickly, we've got a lot to cover. Uh, we're going to switch gears a bit here and discuss just a few quick tips to utilize social media to help you build both your brand and your business. Um, so first step, and these are just very simple things. Once you have social media, these are kind of some quick steps to just make sure you hit. We're going to talk about several of them throughout the presentation. So first step is update your social sites. Make sure the information on your sites are up-to-date and accurate. This includes your contact information, your About Us section. Um, in this example, we're actually looking at Bruce's site. You can see that his phone number, email address, and a link to his Facebook page are on his website. You can also see that the information is on his Facebook page. This helps your customers find you no matter where they're looking and get in touch with you. Um, another simple tip is to create quality posts every day. Make quality posts every day. It's important to stay relevant, on top of the mind, and involved in the conversation. Your post should be interesting and valuable to your customers. If you can't personally do it, hire someone to do these posts for you. The takeaway is that it's just really important to stay active on your social media. And then be a customer service leader and always answer your followers. Respond to your followers quickly and personally. Once you interact with your followers on social media, you deepen your relationship with them and they're more likely to trust you and think of you first. It's, a really, it's really important to be part of the conversation, answer questions, respond to comments and feedback and take advantage of the free communication channel you may learn valuable lessons from your customers about what's working, what isn't working, and ways to improve your business. 
this is a channel that here we really appreciate as we can ask questions to our, our ESP Facebook group. And we hear people um, you know, give their honest feedback and tell us what's working for them and different tips that we can actually in turn share with our other customers. So it's just a really great outlet to have an easy communication channel. Uh, be personally active on your company's Facebook page. Uh, make comments on your customer, sorry, your company's Facebook page via your personal account. Followers love it and it attracts them to you and your company and demonstrates that the company is run by someone authentic. So what I mean by this is make posts and comments as both your company and as yourself. For example, um, when we have customers post about support needs in our Facebook group, the support team actually prefers to comment of them as themselves. So I would comment as Amanda versus as Passport Online. This helps build a personal connection with your brand and people like interacting with people, not companies. This way, you know, we have a small support team here at Passport Online. So when I post, they can recognize that I'm the same person that they might have talked to on the phone already, vice versa with anybody else in the support team. So it kind of just helps deepen that connection and that bond. Um, it's also really great to post pictures of yourself and your team on your Facebook page. Team updates, celebrations, or just cool news. Um, on our Facebook pages, these are the type of posts that actually get the most interaction. Uh, it's fun for customers to see what the team is up to, and again, helps build that connection. So this is a lot of information, and tackling the social media world can be pretty intimidating for a lot of users, but Passport Online is here to help. But how exactly can we help? So we know just why social media is so important to your business, the best dates and times to post and get likes, shares, and comments, the types of posts that work best for travel agency followers, uh, the best way to boost posts, and even how to drive more traffic to your site. So where does your expertise in social media come from exactly? Well, we have over three years of success stories since the launch of our ESP product. We currently power more than 1,500 agency Facebook pages with more being added daily. And with all of that, we reached nearly 1 million Facebook users. This has given us a lot of time, data, and just the opportunity to have conversations and figure out what's working. But so what does that all mean? So through all this data and experience, we've developed what we consider to be the answer, and that would be our ESP product. So ESP is a tool that essentially does the work for you. ESP is a social media posting service for travel agents. It was developed exclusively for travel agents to post, uh, sorry, it's an innovative social media posting service where relevant content is selected by our in-house social media experts and is queued up to post on your business Facebook page at a specific time every day. Um, this allows you to be consistently active on social media, even when you don't have the time to be. We recognize that you're busy and we also recognize how important it is for you to stay active in social media. So how does ESP do this? It does this through um, ESP posts fun, travel-related content and images developed by our in-house social media experts. It queues these posts up in a dashboard three to four days in advance to give you the option to review everything that you're posting. It's important to know what you're putting out there. And it posts these directly to your Facebook page at a pre-selected time and date, so you don't have to do any of the work or worry about it at all. So Amanda, before you keep going, I want to jump in again. So can you go back to that slide that was on the screen before here? Because this, yeah. is, this is kind of the, the what ESP does. So now we stop the commercial for a minute. And you know, folks, to be totally honest, I told these guys if there's something they think doesn't work, they can say that on the webinar too, because we have them here as your, as your um, compatriots in business. But um, Bruce, I'm going to start with you on this. And can you just talk a little bit about what you think the best benefits to you are in using a ESP for your Facebook business page? Well, I think the best thing for us is we get to pick and choose. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, we you can go out three or four days and and post and and pick which post you actually want to uh, be seen on your Facebook page. If you don't like the, what what's going to be posted or if it doesn't really apply to to your business, you can block it. And then again, if you if it, something changes in the course of time, you can go back and unblock it again. So uh, there's a lot of options for you. Uh, it covers basically every every spectrum of of travel, and even gives you tips uh, for travel and so forth. Uh, but I think uh, the answer to your question, right, Pat, is probably 
we get to uh, pick and choose, and that's what I like, because we specialize in certain type of travel, and that's why I like that feature. And I think that's cool, Bruce, and I think that works for your business, and just the opposite, and I don't know, Beth, if you still use this, but I'm going to go to Beth next, and I know that Beth said she was always Disney, and you know, then suddenly an Ireland post, I think this was a story from a long time ago, Beth, but still it's kind of interesting, showed up on your Facebook page, and some but he said, I didn't know you sold that. So in your case, it kind of broadened your, your customer's understanding of what you sell. But can you talk a little bit about what you think the best benefit to your Facebook page is from using ASP? Yeah, that's actually been a, a really big thing for us because I, I initially gathered my followers. I did a very focused campaign to get followers several years ago and between the two business pages I have I've got over 9100 followers at this point but when I collected them I was very specific like over 7000 of them are Disney people and then I was stuck like oh my gosh now I got all these Disney people and they don't even know that I can book them a Royal Caribbean cruise what am I going to do and I uh, I don't mess with the posts at all I never go into my ESP dashboard like ever I just let every single post go out because I know that my followers are only going to see a certain number of those it's not like I'm going to be bombarding them and to the the great credit of the people that choose those posts and put them together I have not lost anybody from that Disney focused group despite the fact that I pretty much never post Disney stuff in that group um, which I know sounds weird long story but yeah it is hands off it's super cost effective no time at all on my part everybody loves it they're sharing these pictures and even though they're a Disney focused group they understand very clearly that I'm not a one-trick pony. I can do whatever they need me to do. That's, that's great. And I think, Karen, I'm, I'm going to go to you next. And I think in your case, um, a lot of the – you said, you know, you put on your current trip and you're able to actually get people interested and ready to book. But you like the, the non-commercial side of ESP, right? Am I putting words in your mouth? Or Karen, you share it with us. But what, what's the benefit that you see? No, I actually think that uh, ESP continually does – I call well, it fluff, but I know that you guys are crow by me saying that, but it's kind of like the stuff that I don't, that gets out there that uh, Facebook says we should do, not always be doing hard sell. So when I do have a hard sell, like the Iceland trip we're doing, I can put it on there without worrying, gosh, did I put anything else out there that was not hard sell? And that's exactly what they do for me along with um, putting stuff that I don't normally, you know, interest in other things that I don't normally put out there. So, yeah, it works both ways. Great, great. And so, Amanda, let's get back now and let's show the audience. I know you're going to take us through now a little bit because now maybe you'll be able to see the posts and understand a little bit, and then we'll talk about the different types of posts. But I know it would help to see what is happening on these Facebook pages. So, Amanda, back to you. Yeah, absolutely. And like what Karen just mentioned, ESP is really great because it can kind of stand alone and do the work for you. And it can also supplement the efforts you're making on your own in social media. So it kind of goes hand in hand, which is great. So just a little bit more like the nitty gritty about ESP. We kind of touched on a lot of this, but you have full control with ESP. It allows you to choose the maximum number of posts you want to display per day. Um, up to four. You can block any posts you don't want to publish to your page. And this just allows your followers to see relevant, interesting content from you every single day at a scheduled time. So timing is everything on social media. You want to send messages when people are around to see them. Um, and a larger audience means more opportunities to boost engagement and drive traffic, gain potential new followers and customers. Um, this is kind of the most up-to-date example as of 2017 as far as the different times of each day that are the best to have posts. Um, so, and ESP is great because it kind of figures that out for you and keeps up-to-date on that because this is always changing. If you look back at the data from 2016, it would be totally different. So, 
like what Mary Pat said, what do we post? So the goal of these posts is to consistently remind your followers that you are a travel professional. The posts are intended to be fun, creative, engaging, informative, and ultimately direct them back to your agency. Um, so we post, we post pictures, travel quotes, travel tips, trendy topics that are travel related, where in the world questions, kind of like a little bit of a quiz, um, some supplier branding, and then also some destination information. So we are gonna go through some of the posts just to kind of give you an example of what they look like. And they really are just beautiful, very high quality images. Um, kind of move quickly through them. They have either some like engagement piece or just it'll be a fact about a location, something like that. Um, or simply just some beautiful pictures to kind of create some engagement. Um, and then we also post more than beautiful images and facts. Um, we're going to show a couple examples of some interactive posts that are created with the intention of just creating some engagement. Um, so this would be about selling specifically group travels, ask us about groups with a fun picture that goes along with it. Wish you were here Friday. Who wishes this was their next vacation? So that's just a question, and that does feel kind of personal and conversational. That's something you could see a friend post on their own Facebook page. So it's kind of less of that hard sell like Karen was talking about as far as some of these go. Um, caption this. Cap here's our caption. So this is a, you know, kind of creating like a little mini contest on your page, which can be really fun and create some engagement. And then there's also weekly where in the world posts. So it's a little bit of a, a trivia question. So it'll describe a location and then we'll follow up with the post later in the day that actually has the answers with some information about the location. And then we also post travel tips. So the travel tips are great because you are a travel professional and it's just kind of sharing some knowledge and staying relevant with people. Um, so even with an active product like ESP and an active Facebook page, it's important to do some work to maximize your presence on social media. So this does all the posting for you, but you still have to get people to your page. So we're gonna recap on just a few of the really critical but simple tips that'll just really help maximize your presence on social media. These are just kind of the easy, you know, low-hanging fruit, if you will, that you should be doing on a regular basis just to make sure you're capturing that full audience. So make sure you include your URL on all of your social media platforms. Um, this is just a really simple one. So link your website to all of your platforms, like in those images we showed before. There are social media icons on the website, and then on your social media platforms, you should have a URL back to your website. Just to keep everybody involved and in the loop, or informed rather. Make sure you're about us area includes your website URL. Facebook is another way for potential customers to find and connect with you. And like I just mentioned, you always want to be sure to include your Facebook URL on your website. Here's an example of Beth's Facebook page actually doing just that. And Karen and Bruce as well. So you can see that they have their email address as well as their URL. And then Add social media icons to your website. Make sure people can find you. Add your Facebook social media icons to the header of your website. Make it easy. These are some of the social media platforms you can add. And then you can see that these are really clear and easy to find. And the thing is that if you're going to be listing these on your website, it's definitely really important to be sure that you have some content behind them. So if you're sending them somewhere, there should be something for them Hey, Amanda, I'm going to jump in here if you don't mind. Um, Perfect. One thing that's really important, and before I go to our panel for conversation, I discovered this in doing some work for um, Passport Online on the ESP products, is that there's a big difference between putting a um, like us on Facebook button on your website and sharing from your website on Facebook. So, folks, if you have a button that allows your customers to share something from your site on Facebook, that doesn't mean you have your Facebook page linked to your website. So double check it. There's a difference between just sharing things on Facebook and actually letting somebody link to your Facebook page and become a fan. So make sure you, you clarify that because I discovered it myself and it's an important distinction. So now I'm going to mm -hmm. ask, before we go on here, I know a lot of people are saying, I don't want to invest the time and effort or whatever, even though most of the work gets done for you with this product, because I don't believe I can make money on social media. 
And I, I kind of want to just talk about that for a minute. So Beth, I'm going to start with you. Do you believe you're actually getting booked business from social media leads at this point? Be honest. Um, yes and no. I, I do think that I get business from the people who are my friends on my personal page. Um, but when it comes to my business page, at this point, no, I, I am, have done a horrible job at that. I did a great job getting all these followers, and I made a huge mistake in that process in not finding a way to collect their contact information. I have no email addresses on any of those thousands of people, and that there are steps to get people from social media to actually booking a trip and I'm missing that middle step right now. Yes, they're they're there and they're following me and they're not leaving me, but I I am still working on finding that missing piece in getting that information from them now and um, being able to market them. I see social media as a way to stay in front of them, stay visible, stay relevant, but not to market to them. I'm not using social media to sell to them. Um, that would be the next step. So, but that's that's totally on me and thank goodness for our ESP because they're the only thing that's really keeping those people with me over the last couple of years. I'm not losing people, I'm gaining people despite the fact that I'm not really doing anything with them, which is pretty awesome. Well, you know, stop beating yourself up. I mean, there's plenty of ways to work on work on building your business, but I think it's a really important point. I don't think this is the panacea to suddenly getting millions of dollars worth of business on Facebook. It's it's a way to make sure you're wherever your customer wants you to be. You're able to be shopped and seen and, and thought about wherever they might be. And with all the stats that Amanda gave in the beginning about the number of people on Facebook, let's be honest, I know how much time I spend on it all day. You'd be crazy not to be on there. So I, I'm sure you're going to keep growing, but I, I really appreciate that. And Karen, I mean, you're clearly seeing some engagement that's turning into business for you. So would you say that you're seeing um, some booked business from social media leads? Oh, uh, yeah, we are. But again, I guess I'm a little more selective as to who's on my Facebook page, but um, not on purpose. It's just that uh, that is you know, I've never really tried to pursue the followers. We just kind of went with who we have, but I have to tell you, you know, the Iceland thing that's just recent that I could, we probably have got six good bookings off of that, but also I posted it on my own personal page and people watch us to see where we go. So I get comments all the time. Well, I see you just got back from Cuba. What about that? So, you know, sometimes you don't really know how that's converted to business. It's hard to measure that. That's true. In any form of marketing, you never can 100% track where the business comes from. So I think that's why you go back to you need to be. And in terms of who's on your page, I think that's a, that's a, a decision everybody makes individually. That's why I don't think it's, you know, we have customers at, of ESP who have 25,000 followers on Facebook and then we have customers that have 25 followers on Facebook it's kind of a decision you want to make and how you grow it is up to you and and up to your engagement level too so Bruce I don't want to leave you out of this conversation so what do you think are you seeing business actual business come from social media well I, I kind of agree with the other two uh, uh, callers that uh, yes we are uh, but you know it's not something that you get every day you're gonna get business from uh, we we try to be kind of selective also in what we put in there and if we've got a certain uh, destination or something, we kind of promote that. Uh, but we have definitely received a lot of bookings through it. But it's not something that, you know, it's not going to change your business overnight. I will say this, it helped me grow my business from the very beginning to where it is now. Probably without the social media, we would probably be half the size we are right now. Just from the word of mouth, people seeing it and sharing things and people, you know, telling other people about us. It really has grown our business, not always in the bookings, but it's gotten the word out for us. I think that's a really good point. And I think the sharing piece and what Amanda mentioned earlier, you know, I know all of you are good at it because I've seen you do it. But when this posts on your business Facebook page and then you comment as yourself, it does make a difference. And people who know you personally see your comment on there and that starts to drive 
it's anything. Once you see a share or a like or a comment, more people start to do it. So I think that's great. And then, Amanda, I think one what you're going to touch on. Oh, go ahead. Absolutely. Go ahead. Ahead. One more thing. That, one thing I wanted to say was uh, at the end of each post, we always try to go and put a uh, edit it and put a call to action at the end because that's one thing I wish that ESP offered was we could edit it prior to it being posted. Because we try to catch it as soon as we can if we're really interested in that post, so we can add a, put a call to action to it. Uh, other than that, it's, it's a great product. That's a great point. And right now, that's the way that can be done. In the future, it may be able to be done in a different way because every technology continues to evolve. But that's a great point. And adding a call to action is just another way for you guys to go in and, and make that post more, more interactive for your business. So great point. Amanda, I think what we're going to touch on now is boosting. And before you get mm -hmm. to it, I think I just want to – Amanda mentioned the ESP. We have a private ESP um, Facebook page for our past online customers. And by the way, folks, there are over 800 agents in that group. It's a really active group. And um, one of the really interesting things is that they do answer each other's questions. And somebody posted the other day and said, my activity seems to be slowing down. And somebody else said, boost a post. It'll make a difference. And the agent came right back in and said, I did it, and oh my God, I can't believe what a change. For $2, I boosted a post, and look what happened to my activity. So I think that's where you're going to go next, right, Amanda, is to just at least touch on boosting a little bit? Yeah, we're going to talk about boosting. We're going to talk a little bit about a very brief introduction to the Facebook algorithm and how boosting can help you kind of work with that to be successful. So... Just like that. So Facebook has many algorithms in place that kind of determine where posts are seen and which will end up dwelling on the bottom of a news feed. So you'll notice sometimes as you're scrolling through just the personal Facebook page is that you know, you're not always seeing the newest Facebook post first. There is some sort of ranking that's done behind the scenes of Facebook. Um, the added challenge for commercial users is that Facebook often lowers the organic reach capability for brand pages in order to balance out the personal versus commercial content on a user's newsfeed. Um, to avoid losing your social media off audience, Facebook allows business owners to invest in Facebook post promotion. By using Facebook's boost post option, um, it's just a really simple, great way to start. And like Mary Patch just said in one of our Facebook groups recently, we had an agent kind of discuss this. Somebody said, help, what do I do? Have you noticed these decrease? And then they ran a really quick kind of experiment in that moment, and she boosted a post. And not only did that post that she boosted for $2 start to kind of gain more visibility, but the rest of her post from that same week did as well. So just one small investment helped the success of all of her additional posts, which is really great. Um, so what is a boosted post? A boosted post is a post from your business page that for a small fee can appear higher on your audience's newsfeed, just in the most simple terms. These are different from sponsored posts. Um, sponsored posts are the ones that you'll see that are kind of flagged as sponsored, so it does kind of look a little bit less authentic. So a boosted post looks still just like a genuinely authentic post coming from you. Um, organic reach has unpredictable value, and no matter how advanced your Facebook strategy might be, there's still a chance that your post will get lost amongst the numerous birthday wishes and new babies and all of those um, that we often see in our news feeds. So boosting your post guarantees a degree of visibility for posts you find important, and boosted posts have a higher chance of being seen by people who have liked your business's page. And like Mary Pat was saying, whenever someone likes their comments is on a boosted post, that it can appear on their friend's news feed. And then as you're kind of gaining more traction, it'll give your business more and more exposure. So let's talk about how you actually boost a post on Facebook. And it's a pretty simple process. You just have to be kind of simple or familiar with your Facebook administrative tools. Facebook is actually really great with their tutorials online, and we're obviously always here to help. Um, so first you're going to choose which post you would like to, to boost. So I'm going to choose this post that we have recently published on our page. Um, you begin by simply clicking the boost button on the bottom right hand corner and you can see that right over here. And then that'll bring you in to an area where you kind of get to choose which audience you want to reach. Um, and that would look just like this. So you can select um, uh, a different age range, a different location, people who just like your page, people who like your page, plus their friends. Um, 
you can select through age, gender, demographic, things like that. And then you can kind of even get a little bit more specific and it looks just like this. So I'm just kind of showing you the steps of what you would walk through. And it is really simple. So you see next, save, and then you kind of selected your demographic right there. And then after you've selected your target audience, you need to manage the budget dedicated to boosting the post. The budget's determined by the amount of time you want the post to remain boosted, which in turn determines an estimated audience, um, which the post will be visible to. And that kind of looks like this, the same thing, really simple. So you can kind of right here, this tells you if I posted this for $3 for one day, Facebook is estimating that my post will be seen by between 450 to 1200 people. So, and this tells you the length of time. You can kind of make these choices in here, play with your budget a little bit. Um, I'd encourage you to start small and see what a dollar does and then increase it from there. This doesn't have to be a huge investment, but set aside a couple dollars a week and kind of see if it is working for you. And so then after you've selected your post, your demographic and your budget, you simply just select boost and then you should begin seeing your post a little bit higher up in the rankings and be more visible to your customers. So the final, this is the last kind of free, um, really simple way to maximize your presence on social media. And this is, I think, when we have conversations with people who are just interested in increasing their, um, you know, social media presence, or how I get more followers to my page, what do I do? This is kind of the first line of defense, the first tip we give them. Ask your friends and family to share your business page. So we all have, you know, a, you know average about 300 people on our own business, our personal Facebook pages. If I asked my 300 friends and family members to share my business page with their 300 friends and family members, that's just multiplied my reach by an incredible amount. And even if it's just a handful of those people go back and look at your page and ended up liking it, that you just captured a very new organic audience right there. So to do that, every business Facebook page has the share button right up here. You would simply just select that and then it would pop up the same way as a post would pop up. So I'd have the option to share it on my own timeline, share it on a friend's timeline. In this instance, I'm gonna share it on my own timeline. And then I'm just gonna like, my call to action here is everybody please like my new business page and share it with your friends. And then just continue on a weekly basis to kind of remind them that I'm here and check out what's new on my page. This would be from my personal page. So send my personal page right to my business page and just keep doing that and then hopefully gain a little bit of traction that way. And then I think, Mary Pat, did you have a question to go along with this? You know what I think we're going to do? Let's finish your portion and then we'll go out to the questions because I want to make sure you get okay. to the end of this. Thanks. Perfect. So we're kind of just going to wrap up here. We've given you a ton of information, so feel free to give Cynthia or I a call. Uh, Cynthia can't even believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so feel free to give us a call. We can kind of discuss this a little bit more in detail with you. We're happy to go over it more specifically. Um, but if you're looking for help with your Facebook postings, ESP would be a great product for you. We can post every single day, help you increase your following, and it's only $15 a month. It's a really low investment, um, and it's an easy, quick registration sign-up process. If you were to sign up today, you could actually have posts to your business page by this afternoon. You could probably still get at least two posts today. So it's just that simple of a process, and we're here to help you. We are a full service technology company for the travel industry. Our reach is extensive, and we're proud to call the leading cruise lines, tour resellers, vacation packages consortia, and host agencies our partners. We have several products that can help you in what you're looking for, whether it's a website, social media, anything along those lines. Um, just give us a call and we can help you figure out which product is right for you. And thanks so much for joining us today. I'm gonna to turn it back over to Mary Pat now. Thanks, Amanda and Cynthia. Before we get to the Q&A, which I'm sure Sandy has some questions for us, just because we're we're talking at a higher level about social media and ESP, but I kind of want to make this basic for the audience as well. Um, mm -hmm. If you didn't want to do any work on f with ESP, can you tell me, and I'm Beth, I'm going to ask you first, 
does ESP do what you need it to do for the $15 a month to keep your Facebook page at least alive and active? Oh my gosh, yeah, absolutely. I I literally do not touch it. I never go into my dashboard at all and still these four posts a day are coming out. They're reliable. They're I I trust ESP completely to do things in good taste, um, and it, yeah, it, it, it keeps me in front of people without having to do any work at all. So at $15 a month, it's a bargain. Good, because you know we might have to raise the price, but no. And Bruce, let me <laughs> ask you, because for those that it might be a little bit more controlling of the messages, not that, not that Beth doesn't control the messaging, she trusts us, but um, if you want to, I mean, Bruce, you talk about you block some posts, quite a few posts, I think, because it's based on what you want to sell. How hard is that to do? Is it an easy enough product for you to work with in terms of your business and your time? Oh, very easy. It takes me probably at the most five, six minutes to do it every three or four days. And then I've got what I want going out there and I don't have to look at it again. Um, yeah, and it's definitely working for us. No, There's no doubt about that. Great, great. And Karen, the last question I'm going to ask you, because I know you work with Passport Online both for your website and your social media. Do you find that the integration works fairly well for you too between what your posts are on Facebook, linking back to your, your website when you need to and that kind of stuff? Yeah, it's very easy. We, I absolutely love it. It's, it um, you know, comes a time that you have to decide, am I going to be a travel agent or am I going to be a social media person? And these guys allow us to be travel agents and actually we don't even think about it and allows us to put the important posts in when we want to. Great. Well, thank you guys. I really appreciate your time. And Sandy, I know I didn't leave you much time for questions, but I'm going to let you take over now in case there's some questions in the queue. Okay, great. Thank you so much, everybody. This is just phenomenal information and uh, I really appreciated hearing it. Um, first, a question for uh, Amanda or uh, Cynthia. If somebody is a rank beginner who doesn't know much about computers, currently has no social media program at all, is ESP or are the Passport Online products appropriate for somebody like that? Yeah, it's actually great for that. So the only thing you need to have ESP is you need to have a business Facebook page, um, which is very easy to set up. And that's actually a really common question we get. And we it can help you walk through that setup process, which just takes a couple minutes. And so once you have that business Facebook page set up, you kind of just sit back and let it do the work for you. So for someone who's a social media kind of beginner, um, it would be a really great way to just Start because it kind of takes the fear out of it and then it's great too because you know I always tell people let it post for you and then kind of figure out what's working so if you're someone who's just learning it's a really great way to kind of allow you to learn more about your audience as well okay excellent um, this uh, question I'd be interested in hearing the travel agents uh, answer to this and that is how do you respond to someone who posts on your business page that they can get this trip cheaper elsewhere like at Costco I'll take it this is Beth um, <laughs> I have honestly never had anybody post that on my page ever. Um, you know, if you did get a post like that, you're certainly able to delete that post if you don't want it there, if you're not prepared to take it head on. But uh, most of the time, I, I think if they say something that I'm just, um, there are some things that I would rather talk personally with somebody about. So if that did come up, I would probably tell them, you know what, let's discuss it because I think there are some things that I can do that you're not going to get from Costco. What's your email address or message me your phone number or something and we'll chat and take it off Facebook. Good answer. Uh, same thing with me. I've never had it happen to me either. So most people that, that try to correspond with you are, are fairly nice. Okay, that's yeah. great. <laughs> Yeah, um, hopefully we can head them off at the pass if it does happen. Um, we've had several agents ask if the same post and picture goes out to everybody who signed up for ESP. 
So this is Cynthia. One thing to remember with Facebook algorithm, you may not have the same posts um, as a, another agent, even though we're posting the same post each day. And then two, you all have different customer lists. And I follow about, oh, 40 of our agents on my personal Facebook. And I see that some of the posts, but a lot of times I do not get duplicate posts from the same agent. Yeah. So Facebook is different with, with the algorithms. And not everyone is gonna see those every single post that you post on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's actually a question that we hear a lot as people are signing up. But what's mm -hmm. interesting is a question we hear on the front end, but we actually don't hear it as a problem on mm -hmm. the back end. So it's a really fair concern, but it's really important to recognize that, you know, even our three agents on the line today come from very different locations, have very different businesses. So their audiences probably don't overlap. So they are, you know, not seen by the same people. Okay, excellent. I think we have time for one or two more questions. I want to tell our agents on this call that if we didn't get to your question or if you think of something after the call is over, the uh, email address and phone number for Passport Online is on your screen now. So do get in touch with them uh, and they will be happy to answer and to sign you up. We did have a few people ask how to sign up and uh, this is how you do it. Just um, call them uh, or email them. Um, we have several agents who say that they also post to Instagram. Does it, can ESP posts either be used on Instagram or do you post to Instagram? So the way Instagram works right now with their privacy and their security, the posts can't um, just kind of be forwarded to Instagram. But once they're posted to your Facebook page, you're always welcome to use them and post them back to your Instagram. Um, but the ESP posts can be linked to a Twitter account that so you can post directly to Twitter without any extra work. But to get to Instagram, you just do have to save and then repost them, unfortunately. But that's just because of kind of the way that Instagram is trying to keep um, businesses out of it a little bit more. Not out of it, but sorry. Yeah, so um, I personally, and I love Instagram more than Facebook mm -hmm. because I have grandchildren and that's the only way I can keep in touch with them. <laughs> <laughs> but what you can do is you can take your phone, take a picture of your um, Facebook post, and then you post it on Instagram. It's real easy. So hopefully that'll change, I think, in the future. But for right now, you have to manually post. You gotta love the world we're in, Sandy, when grandmas are teaching us how to use Instagram. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I love that. Well, my grandkids stopped me. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's the only way we can find out what our kids and grandchildren are doing. Because so. <laughs> they certainly don't come on the phone anymore. Um, we'll take one more question, and that is, uh, if you sign up for um, ESP, are you signing a contract, or is it month to month? What kind of commitment is it? It's month to month. You can cancel any time. So try it for a month. For $15, that's two cups of coffee. <laughs> Where do you, you buy know, your coffee? Starbucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, in Portland. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you well, get a caramel macchiato or whatever that's called. <laughs> right. And then you can sell a trip to someone who works at Starbucks at the same time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think that's it for the questions, Mary Pat. Do you want to? Uh, do you have closing remarks or our agent? You know, I just want to thank everybody for being here, especially our agent customers who took the time out of your business. We tell you that this product saves you time, and then we steal you for an hour. But we appreciate it very much. And uh, trust me, folks, what Cynthia just said is really true. For fifteen bucks, this is a big boost to the potential of marketing for your business. And Knowing these guys, they have the best customer support in the business. You're listening to Amanda and Cynthia. These guys are genuinely good people to work with. So I hope you come and join us. And uh, thanks, Sandy. I have nothing else to say. I don't know if the rest of the gang does, but I'm, I'm happy. Okay. Well, this has been great. I want to thank our travel agent uh, panelists, Beth Foss, Bruce Lehman, and Karen Schinke, and our um, two wonderful people from Passport Online, Cynthia Yonke and Amanda Cabaceres. Hope I said that right. And of course, our moderator extraordinaire, Mary Pat Sullivan, <laughs> president of Sullivan Marketing Advisors. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank another, you. another thank you to our agents who are attending this webinar. I know you got a lot out of this, and uh, we appreciate your being here. So enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.
Bye.